Hello everybody, it's Shish now and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be doing a really quick tutorial on the new elevator system that was added this wipe. So the main item you will need is the elevator block. Now you can buy the elevator block at Outpost in this vending machine here for 250 scrap. You can take this block and research it for 125 scrap and build it in a level 2 workbench for 5 high qual, 3 gears and 300 metal frags. Now the elevator block um, takes up a single square and can be rotated like this. Uh, you can build it on a square foundation or a square uh, roof or ceiling, whatever you want to call it. And they can be built six high, like so. With the elevator block you can build around it if you want to secure the uh, area, as you can see here. So I'm going to build all the way up around it. And you can upgrade, you can build anything around these blocks, um, any type of wall frame item. You can also place wall frames in front of the um, entrance and then place doors like garage doors in the front. And you can also place ceilings on top, like so. Now for the elevator system to work, you are going to need an uh, electric input, so you're going to need 10 power in. Uh, I'd suggest you use a medium or large battery, and you get a power source, solar panel, a wind turbine, or a small generator. I'm going to quickly set up a, a um, windmill at the top here, but obviously the power source is up to you. Just make sure you have at least 10 uh, power output from your electrical source. So you need to connect your power output of whatever source you're using to the power input of your elevator, which is this uh, generator on the right hand side, whichever side it says power in. As you can see, the lights will turn on. It uses one power whilst idle and 10 power when in use. So to use the elevator, you simply, so you can press once on lower to go down one floor or up to raise up one floor. And if you hold E on the raise, so as you can see, if I hold E on the raise elevator, you can go up one floor or you can go up to the top floor. So I'll do it on the lower elevator first. So if I hold E on lower elevator, I can go down to, without stopping, as you can see. This is um, a, a thing that kind of confused me for a bit because it just took me a few minutes to understand. Couldn't understand it for some reason. But as you can see, it goes up one. But if you go up, go up all the way. Now, the last thing I want to show you is calling the elevator down to your floor. So for this, you're going to need six buttons. Or how many buttons, um, or how many elevator call floors you need so to call an elevator down you simply you need to get the elevator down first so I'll bring this elevator all the way down and the best um, way you can do this with switches and that but you will need to um, get in a power input for that which is stupid a button gives you um, power uh, two or three power output, I'm not sure what it is, without any input. So to call the elevator, it needs to be on this side, so depending on what side it is, you place your button. You do the pa simply just put out power output to your call elevator like so. So if I shoot this uh, all the way up, and I call the elevator, as soon as it gets to the top, it'll come back down. I'm going to do it while it's just up there. Yeah, as you can see, it's come back down now. So to do it on every floor, you just do the exact same thing on every floor. So a button on every floor, and you have to call the elevator up uh, one floor at a time to do so. So you connect the call elevator to the output. You go up a floor, oh, that's down. And you do the same thing. 
uh, as you can see, and then it'll call the elevator down if it's not on that floor, call it up or down, depending. So a couple of other things with the elevator is that if you stand underneath the elevator, whilst it's coming down, you will die. Um, so anything underneath the elevator here, you get crushed and die. I can see some very good trap bases hands coming in for that one, probably. Um, you can't place helicopters, uh, any type of modular car, vehicle, boat, anything like that, because it just won't work. However, you can place, uh, you can ride horses onto the elevator and call it up. Anyway, that is the new elevator system in Rust. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, so thank, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.